What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist D and D. As always, I'm your host Connor. With us, we have Nick as Elijah. Hello. Uh, did you did you say hello, Red? I said hello. The fuck I thought want? I heard it come from two other people. I thought I heard it come through someone else's mic. Maybe I misheard things. Uh, Dan is Osawa. Greetings. Red is Ivan. Good old Kevin Land Cruz with third here. And Mike as Max. Yo, yo. Quick recap as to what happened last time. Uh, the team arrived back in Central after the events in the North involving Nikolai and Sherman, uh, and they have continued their life in the Academy. Now three years have passed, and you are all just about to graduate. Just about to... Just about to graduate from the Academy. <laughs> During this time, the Civil War continues to rage on, and the traitor alchemists have gone silent since their last defeat. Beyond that, if there's anything that you all want to say about your characters, feel free to do so. Go to initiative order. Starting with initiative. Anything from you, Elijah? Go to initiative order, I guess. <laughs> uh, he works at the bookstore. Um, it's like a part-time job, you know, makes the money. Uh, bookstore's the library, he... by the way. Yeah. Uh, he's cool with Max now. Him and Max are cool. And, uh... Other than that, he's just been a little bit more of a bookworm lately. You know, he he, lo he lost a little bit of the uh, the recent morning that was going on during most of what was the last sessions, and he's been replaced with a little bit of something different. And we will see that. All right, El Sawa. <laughs> Pretty much... Uh... A lot of the same stuff has been going on. I've uh, been doing a little bit of uh, interning, just kind of learning more medical stuff. Spent a little bit of time working at the uh, the local morgue to get a better understanding of the human body. Obviously, since I'm not a professional medic, I can't really do a whole lot in a medical setting, but it's the next best thing. Spent a little bit of time with the quartermasters, went a little, a little bit better, because sometimes you need to use firearms. And... Uh, keeping in touch with the uh, other Ishvalan in the military, whose name I forgot to write down because I'm a chump. And Miles. Miles. Thank you. Spirit die, right? No, no. Look at you. <laughs> if you ever need a spirit die, I will be willing to lend you one at some point. Elijah. I've got two. I'm just trying to save up there. Okay. Yeah, uh, spent some time with uh, Miles as well, just kind of getting a better ch understanding of how he looks at being a fallen in the military, especially right now, just to kind of not so much cope, because I haven't really had a lot of issues with people, but with the war building, I could see something coming, and just kind of having a better idea of the best way to handle the stuff is. And my voice somehow got a little bit deeper. You need to go red for the rest of this. Yeah, that's just puberty. Yeah, uh, it's been three years and Elijah's still not as tall as I was at 12. <laughs> Ivan. Um, so, Ivan's been uh, doing a lot of training with his sniper and his parakeet where I have been training this parakeet to be able to do, like, little stealth missions with me, train it to, like, <laughs> do drop-offs. You know, if you ever get separated, we could do messages and shit like that. Um, me and Max fixed my car. So we got a car. We did it. And then somebody <laughs> threatened your car, so you shot it with your sniper rifle. <laughs> And uh, I've been attached. I did some training with like Maze, you know, got kind of acquainted with him a little bit. Um, but yeah, and like basically just like you know, got the got you know, got to know you guys better since you know, we didn't really get a chance to like really get to know each other. We had to actually bond during the three years. Oh, wow, fuck you too, Elijah. Fuck big ass like anime skirmish, <laughs> anyway. But that's what I, yeah. I've been just training uh, my sniper and trying to be the best that I can be for the military. And that parakeet is number one. I got to think of a name for it. I haven't thought of a name yet. Yeah, you've had three years. Still can't even name it. God. Max, you're up. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I definitely should have like thought about this before, but I'll, I'll just say, yeah, like, yeah, I've been, I've been building building relationships with colleagues, um, obviously with the car and uh, with with Elijah. Uh, I assume with Elsa at some point if we we're all in the same <clears throat> same school and everything. Yeah, uh, many of your classes have still been shared. You still live together. Yeah, I, I would have. I would have definitely delved uh, a, a little bit deeper in, into research on on the you know what <clears throat> taboo, of course. Uh, during those three years, don't know if I came up anything, but uh, aside from that, probably just uh, working on on the basics, the the fundamentals of alchemy to get a better understanding. <clears throat> Appearance wise, uh, I guess, you know, look older, I guess. Yeah, look older. All right. Now, for whatever reason, uh, Tony uh, is just really sleepy today. So he's going to, you know, not really be involved. Can we say he was sleepy like for three years? Yes. And he just like was in a coma? Yes, sure. Why not? So you Tony, all... Tony had an alchemic rebound has been frozen in his own ice for three years. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Is there an icicle here? There it is. <laughs> He's still within the class of the even. <laughs> That's dedication. So you are all in your final class here. Just about to graduate. You've essentially completed everything. Everything has been officially done. However, you have been delayed as someone has to come in and say something to you. You see, the Fuhrer enters the room. You all salute him as he enters, and then he speaks. At ease. Well done, cadets. You have all officially graduated from the academy. Most of you will move on to the military police, where you'll have a chance to prove yourself in real-world situations. Should you prove yourself there... You'll be made a private and brought into the grander military stage. Some of you, however, will skip the military police. Should a soldier of at least corporal ranking vouch for you, or has vouched for you in the past, you will be notified within three days that you'll immediately enter the military as a private. There is also an alternative path, but only for a handful of you. One week from today, we will be holding a state alchemist certification exam. Any alchemists who wish to are allowed to enter. However, I feel as though it is my responsibility to restate three of the rules that govern state alchemists. In exchange for the funds that you are granted, and the government ranking, and the military ranking of major, don't forget that these three rules must be followed. Number one. You will obey the military. As cadets, this should already be built firmly into your psyche, so I won't elaborate further. Second, you are not to create gold under any circumstance. This law already applies to alchemists, however, as state alchemists you are punished far more severely. And finally, you see he pauses for a second, you feel as though his his attention has shifted, even though he's got his smile, like his soft smile with his closed eyes. But you feel as though his attention is now on you, Max. Yeah, and finally, is. human transmutation is completely forbidden. Again, a law that already applies to alchemists. <laughs> Breaching this one as a state alchemist will not only result in your immediate arrest, but likely your execution. Pauses again, relaxing in his tone. With that said, I wish you all luck in your paths ahead. And he walks out of the room. And with that, you are all free to do what you wish right now. Who wants to go for a joyride? We're about to graduate. <laughs> we graduated. You have graduated. That was the final speech about your path ahead. Throw my hat in the air real quick, but I quickly grab it because that's my hat, you know. Yeah. 
Is well, it the, the red cap you had there? Can I try to throw a throwing knife at his hat before he catches it? Yes. Okay. Hey, Tom, why, is it, why am I hugging it? Oh, yeah, this is an old map that I brought you to. Very old map. Yeah. I'm what like, the what hell's a, I mean, the hell's a hog in it? I had 8 HP. I have 124 <laughs> now. There you go, Ivan. <laughs> GG. Thanks, bud. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw Kunai. Probably remove some of these old tokens of dead characters. Looking at you, well, Aurora. I did put my. Uh, hey, man, rest in peace. I did put my two weeks in for my uh for work because of well, obviously I'm Does going that... for the state alchemist thing. So Does that hit Ivan's hat. Guys... Yes, Ivan goes to throw his hat up, and you immediately throw a knife into it, stabbing it into the ceiling. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Hughes applauds that. Well done. Rival even me with that. Uh, uh, Eli will touch the ground and go ahead and uh, try and force the... uh... We're not allowed to use alchemy without uh, without permission. Never mind. That's a rule, isn't it? You can. No, you can use it. (laughs) You can use alchemy anytime? Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to get the alchemy out. I was just going to use my spear. Yeah, didn't just really put my spear against it in the ceiling and basically just have the metal just kind of drop down. And it does so. And, I, and iron is one of my... Uh, As, I'm not yes. going to make it roll for it. It's simple enough. I know, I'm just saying iron's one of my... Whatever the term is. Yeah, your uh, proficiencies. Yeah, iron Specialization. That's specialization. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, but pretty much, uh, even without being a state alchemist, you're allowed to use alchemy almost whenever. Uh, just don't break laws with it. I was mixing that up with uh, heroes. I'm not even going to lie. Watch it, see heroes, ladies and gentlemen, whenever it comes out. Yeah, whenever it comes out. This isn't even out yet. I know. I wonder if heroes will start coming out. Yeah, this will be. This will be at least six months into the release, this episode. Yeah. At least six months, maybe, maybe longer. It's probably. I think it's because exactly we've been recording for a mark. while. It's gonna be the exact six month mark when this episode's gonna air after they all start releasing. Damn. I wonder if you're gonna be have until we start. Oh, it's gonna be soon. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting a few more episodes okay. in there just to make sure. Uh, should we have another big gap like we had this month, this last month? Yeah, because then yeah. I gotta get started on the Persona D and D. Persona. Yeah. What about uh, my baby, the new baby coming around February 23rd? Oh, God. No, no, Good luck. I'm going to need it. You're going to need it. Uh, Um, Anyways. (laughs) Sidetrack, sidetracked. Joyride. (laughs) If you wish to have any conversations with each other. Or with the other people here that are major characters, I, I, a, Jesus is, Christ, is him AKA Maze. Uh, Hughes and Maze. Yeah, I want to go up to Maze and congratulate him, give him you a, like a, a Hughes and Maze. <laughs> <Hughes and Mace. laughs> <laughs> Mustang and Hughes, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Mustang and Roy. <laughs> Mustang and Roy, there you go. But yeah, I'm going to run up to Maze and be like, Maze, congratulate. Congratulations on graduating as well. I think I'm a firm handshake. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and congratulations to you too. I think we've all thank worked you. very hard to get here. Indeed, indeed. And ideally, it won't be the the last bit of good news I get today. Yeah. Yeah. What, what else? What that's else how his know? daughter was born. A real persuasion check. <laughs> Hope you're ready for this crazy high DC. Yes, sir. Five. You just have to not get a now one. <laughs> the anticipation. Well, into roll. Ivan. <clears throat> Ivan. Wait, what? 
Roll the persuasion check. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I'm so sorry. I was waiting. I'm like, wait, what's going on? So I, I'm just sitting here waiting. I muted myself. So I'm like, okay, maybe something's happening. Oh, <laughs> oh my, bad. Yeah. my bad. I'm just an idiot. I want to see someone roll zero. I have a king. A very uh, cohesive squad. The uh, audience. I mean, yeah. you almost failed. Okay. He uh, leans in. He says, all right, well, don't tell anyone, but he pulls a little box. I'm proposing tonight. <sighs> oh, oh, my man. I'm going to give him some knuckles. Like, congrats, my man. <laughs> he hits you back. You are, you're a lucky man. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway. Oh, she's very loyal. I'm stuck with your ass for three years, so I mean, <laughs> but up with you. Well, I'd hope she would. I did my best to make her feel like a queen. And that is true. That's what it takes I'm in relationships. Crying. You gotta work hard at it. Keep that in mind, Ivan. One day you'll find your uh, your Gracia. Yeah, maybe. I got my parakeet, though, as the parakeet just flies into my shoulder. Well, I suppose that's Why the fuck is similar it in, in a way. What? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, Mish. Say that to Nick or me? Me. You. Sorry. <laughs> Why is that big in class? He said, "Well, I guess that's in a similar, uh, similar context as what we we're talking about. Just don't, uh, don't, don't marry that." Yeah, yeah, that's true. Y- you agree? That's a pair of keys. Just gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, you have approached Hughes, or fuck, Jesus Christ! I keep doing it. Yes, You've approached Mustang. Can my parakeet have a monogle just just because you've always said no to them? <laughs> R- roll a persuasion check. Yeah. Oh, it's a zero. Ah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks. It was a tw- it was a twenty. Was the DC? Oh come on! I tried so hard. Wait, wait. I have a spirit. No, no, no. I'm not gonna be stupid now. <laughs> That's a first. All right, Elijah. What are you doing? Being smart about uh, that. he's just gonna walk up to uh to Maze. Well, uh, how you doing, Maze? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say anything. I fucking <laughs> okay. Listen, this is a fucking role playing game. Shut the fuck up, okay? It's just it's We're not just even gonna fact. talk about this. It was the fact that who you're next to when you say that. Uh, not Mace. No. <laughs> That's what he's laughing at because you made the same dumb fucking mistake I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I I um, too much. Dick. Either way, Mustang. Um, are you going to the um uh, to the Stead Octus trials uh, next? Week? It looks to you. Of course, I am. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh, I imagine Have a it good will one. be. You as well. I'll see you there. Try not to get jealous. Of course. Hey, Tony, what about you? Yeah, I suppose uh, Hawkeye oh, did has you taught you a couple things, hasn't he? Oh, he taught me everything he knew. Yeah. You're I also, I I'll say, you're me. also familiar at this point that Hawkeye is dead. Oh, yeah. So you know that uh, yeah, his teacher a... is dead at this point. He was something. He did. Well, you definitely know you what he was shoot doing. Any fire out? Yeah, you'll have to wait and see, won't you? Yeah, and try to uh, not get blinded by the uh, the lightning, there, buddy. I pat him on the shoulder and I walk up to Maze and I give him a fist bump. If this bumps you as well, good luck. Hope you won't take it as any offense if I'm rooting for Mustang here. Nah, fuck you. Don't worry about it. All right, Max, you were saying something to Tony? No, no, I didn't say anything. No, that's okay. You can say it. (laughs) I was was making a joke. (laughs) Just just leave that where it's at. See, Tony's just frozen in his seat, just standing there, or sitting there. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> That's what well, he, uh, 
I hear they give you uh, something of a code name if you uh, if you pass the exam. Are you saying this to Tony or to who? Uh, just out loud to the group. Since everybody's like over here. Or migrated. Pretty much everyone except for Tony. Yeah. I'll say Mustang will respond to that. It says, yeah. Chosen by the Fuhrer himself. Oftentimes descriptive of to what you show off, so make sure you show it off carefully. Any ideas what he would name you? No idea. I guess we'll see once we take the exam. For I bet you. I, I would love to know what he'd name me. <laughs> You're not an alchemist. Cannon, Cannon um, fodder. <laughs> Mustang's going to respond. I imagine something similar to my teacher. It, it makes sense. Well, I hope he doesn't lame, name you Flame Alchemist. That's kind of lame. What? Uh, he was just going to respond to that. I actually think it sounds pretty hot. Ah, I like that, Mustang. And was it a funny pun? But... Hey, I, I will take it with a grain of salt. I like that. Ivan will like, oh yeah, like that. <laughs> Tony's the salt alchemist. <laughs> I don't know. I imagine it'll have something to do with lightning or whatever. Sparky. The Sparky oh, alchemist. The sparky alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> I like yes, it. That is something he would do to me. <laughs> what about you, Elsa? Hmm. I'm not really sure. She had had the Angel Alchemist originally as a title, but there's really not... I guess I'm not really sure. The Looming Alchemist, because your big ass takes up all the room in the in the uh, living room. I, you I can't even sit on the couch while you're in there. <laughs> I was really confused Elijah, where you were going when I thought you said Looming. <laughs> Elijah, how tall are like, you? Uh... <laughs> Five foot eight. Okay, my God, how tall was this? I don't even remember how tall I was when we no, first started. He was he was five he was five six three years ago. So he would be like he's probably like five eleven. He's not a short dude. Okay, I'm like I'm six five. I'm six okay. two. He's weary. He's very you know. He just. There's not a lot of muscle to him, but he's still he's still got a little bit of he's got a little bit of something to him. I'm six foot five, but I look like Stone Cold Steve Austin if he bleeds his hair. The looming alchemist, because your big ass takes up all the room in my living room. Your living room? Last I my checked, living room. On it. I clean the motherfucker. It's mine. It's because you make the most messes. Lies. <laughs> I'm a clean freak. You know this. Do I? <laughs> yes. I perform medical alchemy. Do you think cleanliness is not something I take into consideration? I don't know. You always smell like a like aftershave. Foot. Necro alchemist. You need uh, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, mean, I saw I saw a bunch of D and D memes, and it's like it's like some. The bandits kill your wife. What do you do? And it's like the bard is like, I'm going to sing her a song, write a song in her honor, the barbarian. I'm going to kill them all. Picture the necromancer. just the dude from the mummy just smiling. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going on? Yikes. Like, well, hopefully something with my medical training, my healing, or it may just end up being my build. I really don't know. Me also being a shval, and it could be something completely different, but... That's true, sometimes no he does uh, do... Sometimes he does pull from your character for the names. Well, I hope I'm not the uh, shooting somebody's mother alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I didn't expect that to get revisited here. Tony still won't talk to me. <laughs> you see, Tony, even though he's frozen, you see his head just turns to look at you. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Is there an is there a is there an opposite term for a guy who loses their wife, like the opposite of a widow? Male a widow. version of a widow. Yeah. A bitch. 
They just call him a widower. We don't stay I don't single. think they call him anything. Well, they might be a term. Don't. It's probably a term. Widower. It is widower. Widower. Oh. So the wi- you're yeah. the widower, Alvin. <laughs> I'm actually okay with that. That's kind of a cool name. Uh, I don't know the if you want that as, <laughs> as a title that's bestowed upon you. Yes, if time. I'm going, if I'm going to be high up in ranking, I probably shouldn't be known for shooting people, should I? No, Elijah's the shock and awe alchemist. Especially, I like movie. that actually. That's actually yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Pretty, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm cool with honestly. Honestly, I really don't have any sort of opinion towards it. I mean, people will call me what they will call me. As long as it isn't like the skinny beanpole alchemist or something like that. The I don't know. Alchemist. The stick alchemist. The zap alchemist. That'd be a zap. lump. Zip zap. I feel inclined to carry a carpet everywhere that I go. <laughs> the limp alchemist. <laughs> That's how I create my electrical charge. I just fucking. <laughs> That's not a name you want, the limp alchemist. <laughs> Why not? When you zap, <laughs> your body goes limp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, we could call you the shocker alchemist. Isn't that funny? I don't know why I'm. And you just walk around like th- walk around like this. You're called the shocker alchemist. I'm the shock and awe alchemist. Totally. That sounds actually pretty cool. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> He'll find something cool. We'll be okay. Anyways, I'm sure we'll come up with something. I've got to go and do some uh, last minute preparations, so I need to go. I will talk to you guys later. All right. Have fun. See you in two weeks. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Ah. (laughs) Hi. See you. And uh, during those two weeks, I'm going to be working on my gun. But, you know. Elijah heads on out. Oh, my goodness. Of Tony head on out. Anything else that all of y'all are doing with the Hughes or Mustang? See you later. All right. That makes it. Y'all head on out. Wee. Wee. So you are back in the familiar place of Central. If you have anything you wish to do, feel free to do so. Otherwise, when you're ready, go back to your dorms to rest up. I make gun check. All right, you're checking to see if you have a gun. No. <laughs> I need you to uh, elaborate for to the audience. To... Okay, yeah, you're right. So, out of game. Um, he is going to go ahead and he is going to take the parts of a pistol that he has kept on him um, from the raid way back when. And he is going to attach a longer barrel, increasing the range. I believe that this was this has done been done before by myself, but unfortunately... I don't remember what the buffs were, and I have changed phones, therefore I didn't have the same dock. So, and I'm, I'm doing it again. Alright, whenever you're ready, roll that alchemy check. 29. It's just, it's metal, so. Yeah, I need to is, I need to is the DC 30? I need to remember. <laughs> I need to get to the tears. The DC 30. I um, well, I would imagine it's steel. That's a pass. Okay. You're not doing anything super complex with that, so that's a pass. Aye, aye. Uh, yeah, steel. So I was looking at that. DC was 25 for standard steel. Okay. Yay, modifier. Alright, anything else you're doing, Elijah? Other than that, uh, I have already put in my two weeks with my work because obviously I'm going to go and be an alchemist. Yeah, putting but, all uh, your eggs in one basket can be real awkward if you're turned down, yes. isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Because then I'll come back for the third time. Um, so, other than that, you know, dealing with outside business, he's he's going to go and see show, you know, say what's up with him, and then he's going to, uh, he's going to do his thing. Bless you, Evan. And all right, Elijah. Thanks. 
El Sal, what were you doing? I am actually gonna go into one of the uh, one of our supply stores. I want to see about trading up combat vests. Okay. Did we get any money in this through your time or no? Uh, yes, but you've spent it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace to our money. All right, you arrive at the store, El Sawa. So I have a tactical vest, and I want to see if I can sell that to the store, and I want to look at buying a heavy vest. Is all right. That's going to be a 350 difference uh, just on its own. Let me check the condition here. I'll give you 300 for it, so it'll be a 450 total cost. I am okay with this. All right, here you are. So you'll take an right. increased speed penalty, and remember, if your max, if your uh, dexterity score is over plus one, uh, you will not get the full boost of the AC. Thankfully, I only have plus one dexterity, so that fantastic! You get the full boost then. Yay! <clears throat> Anything and else from you also? Now, I'm also now slow as fuck. Yes. Very slow boy. I'm now back to 30. Slow back to 30. This man. (laughs) I'm back to normal. But I'm a tank. It's like compared to a Wari, Um, you're slow. That's it. Yeah. (laughs) Um, no, I have a shotgun. I have the revolver blade. I have my pistol with ammo. I have chalk. Oh. Um... Can I do one of my alchemy things and put an alchemic marking for iron on one of my kunai? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have that available. All right. Actually, I just thought of something. So I have a question. It might be a little mm-hmm. weird. I, I only just thought of it. Mm-hmm. So I have my spear, obviously. Could I have my spear set up that I can actually have the ends of it. I basically have the spear, but I have basically the end of it's removed, and I have my those four kunai. I've altered them that they can actually be put and like locked into the end of the spear, which allow me to do alchemy with that additional range. So I can basically swap the heads out on my spear to use it more offensively for alchemy. So, okay, I see what you're saying. You can, So, different spearheads is what essentially the purpose is, what you're asking, if that would be possible. Yes, basically. Uh, yes. I would basically have a channel in the kunai, and then the end of my thing is basically set up that I can put it in and lock it in place, and basically swap the heads on my spear, because the spear allowed me to reach out to 10 feet, and then I could use that to perform alchemy at that range. Yep. I, uh, I will allow that. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it down that I just have one spear now, and it'll just be a mul- it'll be a adaptable spear, just adjustable, and then I have all my kunai are specifically designed to just lock into that. Okay. Yep. Do you want me to roll some kind of alchemy check, or just kind of... It's been roll, long enough to... Roll an alchemy check. Yeah, we'll um, just... That is on just base alchemy yeah just a base alchemy check okay let's see it's gonna be kind of like a uh, past alchemy check to see if anything's happened we'll see you've done a lot of this over the time skip this thing's wood i don't have wood as a proficiency so it wouldn't matter would not matter <laughs> i uh GG. all right yeah you succeed okay all right. Anything else from you? Uh, I don't have any equipment. I feel like I need to swap at least as of now because I have a pretty decent basic setup. Uh, the med kit for Tony's expired, but that's not a big deal. Um, 
that was a joke. Thanks for somebody laughing. Sorry. Uh-huh. So sorry. Get funny next <laughs> time and I'll laugh. <laughs> but... Yeah, um, I want to... Actually, and Ivan, nobody's doing alchemy on your arm because nobody here is touching carbon fiber. What's the DC on that one? Oh, you, you want them to use alchemy on your human arm? No, 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 no. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, he can do that one. Make my bones into... <laughs> yeah, that'd be a oh, really wait. painful process. We can <laughs> coat your bones in iron and turn you into the FMA Wolverine. Oh my goodness. With you die, but we with do it. Iron. <laughs> instead, like, instead where Wolverine goes to like, stop anything that's coming his way, he just... <clears throat> breaks it. Like, yeah, it like, breaks your bones and you feel hey, pain. <laughs> Ivan, look at it this way. If you break bones in your wrist, I can literally just put pins in your hand without surgery. That's, no, that I mean, is a plus it's side. A, it's okay. So I'm gonna go sell that arm, make some money, get some things. I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> what if you no, made <laughs> a metal skeleton, oh, and then shit. you did like the soul thing that happens with the owl, with Al and the other armored bodies? Could you do that to a <laughs> a metal skeleton? Why not? <laughs> when you as have someone as... controlling the skeleton from inside the living body. As long as the alchemic circle's on it, why couldn't you? Because technically, if you took... If that wouldn't work by having open channels, every time Al's head got knocked off, the spirit with the soul would be released. It's infused to the armor itself, so it would be infused to the skeleton. He's not wrong. Because by that logic, there's no muscles or anything, so how is Al moving the bot suit of armor around? That's just and how it's it would work with the two people fighting each other. What would happen, I wonder? One of them would win. <laughs> or would the body just rip itself out? Or the skeleton rip itself out of the body? Oh my god. I don't think so. I, I have a feeling that the person would probably have to be dead. Actually, I do have one other thing I want to do, and I do want to definitely do it before the uh, thing. Okay. I wish to go visit Sherman's uh, gravesite. Okay, yeah, that can happen later. Yeah. All right, Ivan. All right, all right, all right. Well, because we have, I mean, you know, I spent all my money three years. Got to get some supplies first. Um, I'm gonna walk to. Hmm. I'm gonna walk to a store. Do I want to go to an artillery or armory? Sorry. All right, going to an armory. You arrive at the armory. I'm like, hey there, pal. Um, I just graduated. Okay. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, this is my parakeet. His name's George. George the parakeet. Okay. Hi, George. George. Hey. Hey. Anyway, um, I would like to see. I was, I was wondering if uh, you would possibly do a trade. I'm I'm trying to like, you know go farther in my career and I don't really got much besides like my sniper and you know my swords so I was wondering if you do a trade for this arm as I show on my arm you, you're wanting the arm that is currently on you to be traded no spare arm the spare uh, arm I have uh what material was it carbon fiber it was like the best carbon fiber yeah Oh yeah, it was a spare carbon fiber. I forgot about it's that. It's the one Sherman bought him after yeah, I bought him. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. It says yeah, uh, this is a custom fitted. I'd give you five hundred cents for it. Also, how much did we pay? How much did you give me again? Uh, how much was the carbon fiber arm that I bought him? A thousand. Hey, hey, how about listen here? How about seven hundred? We call it even. Uh, this Cost is... me what a great to do it. He, he's going to say, nope, no can do. That's specifically made but, for your body size and type. But it was bought by Sherman, the, the great military leader that just passed. Sherman passed away three years ago. 
I know. Sorry, I'm. I I forgot. It's like been three years. Like, <laughs> it's been fucking three years. Um, it was bought by Sherman three years ago. Listen, unless he signed it, sentimentality doesn't sell this. Should have him sign it. He was my teacher. Anyway, all right, I'll take the five hundred. All right, here you are. Thank you. Thank you. Um. So let's see. Uh, can I pick up four grenades? Uh, what kind of grenades? Like explosive like grenades, right? Just, yeah. Just frag regular, grenades, grenades, flash grenades, smoke grenades. It, wait. What are the ones that you just go, you pull the pin and they just boom? Frag. Right? What? Frag. Oh, is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Frag grenade. Frag grenade. It was all right. Every single one of those is 150 apiece. Oh, damn. I'll take two. All right. It's 300. There's two of them. Uh, can I get two full clips? Oh, wait. Uh, no, actually, sorry. We're going back on that. I'm going to say, uh, sorry, I'm going to need to see some uh, license for that. You're going to need to verify that, that you're part of the military. We graduated, right? We should have our license and everything. Uh, you have not been made a private yet. Or military police, even. Oh. I don't got that. So within 72 hours, you uh, you will have that happening. It's actually in the mail. I just graduated today. Damn. Well, come back once you get it. I'll be happy to sell these to you. I'll take, can I take my arm? Oh, you want to go all the way back? Going all the way back. All right, then I'll take the okay. 500 cents back. There's your arm. There's 500 cents. Be back. When I got more to offer to. All right, can good I luck. Least, can I get at least one clip, please? Nope. <laughs> Walk out. I mean, I can sell you a 9mm with unlicensed, but explosives, they're, they're quite licensed. Oh. Oh, shit. Take the arm. I want a nine mil. Uh, okay, there's that. Uh, so for just a clip, it's only 30 cents. All right, I'll take... How much for the uh, nine mil? The whole gun itself? Uh, 80. Let me get two nine mils. All right, 160. That is without and... ammo, by the way. That is just the gun. Uh, Let me get four clips. All right, that's going to be a total of... 280 for all of them together. So far. Yep. Okay. Can I get how much would it be for four clips of sniper rifle? So I have my sniper. Uh, For four clips of sniper, that would be 600. Every sniper clip's okay. 150. Damn, let me get one. All right. What am I at? 430. Can I get the rest in kunai? Or daggers, throwing daggers, whatever uh, they yeah. called. Yeah, I've got knives or kunai. Both are the exact same cost. It would be seven. This man is built out of weapons. Surprise. All right. Well, there's seven kunai, the sniper clip, four 9mm clips, and two 9mm pistols. <laughs> I'm John Wick. All right, let's go. I'm out. He'll use maybe right. two of those. Need those explosives? Feel free to come back after you have your license. You know I will. All right, anything else you're doing? Time to go do a mission. So we, we can, can make, make our some own explosives. What are you doing uh, right now, Ivan? Uh, anything else? Um, I was going to see if anyone else wanted to go for a joyride around the city. Oh, right, so you'll go back to the dorms to to find people. Hmm. All right, Max, what are you doing? Like just today or through this two week period? Just today, just right now. Today, okay. All right. So just just for today, I'm go- I'm gonna join the crew uh, of tattoos, uh, but I need to ask some very specific questions. Um, uh, so one, so with, with alchemy, just generally, the the alchemic circle has to be on the surface, right, or directly in contact with the circle. Uh 
doesn't have to be directly on the surface. It doesn't have to be directly on the surface. Like, it has to be on material that is then touching the surface, though. So, just for like an example, like on the bottom of the sole of a shoe. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want on the bottom of a sole of a shoe and then you were like trying to step into dirt and then uh, you suck me on the dirt, that would work. Okay. That is dope. Why is no. What? It's a clever way to do it. Of course, then, you know, shoes get worn down. That's a downside. Yeah. No, nah, fuck that. Put in the sole of your shoe. Oh. I'd also argue that's not a tattoo. That's uh, that's just carving. Oh, no, no, no. That, that, that's something else. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was asking that first. Just, I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get you. Be like just clarify. I was going to be like, tattoo on the tattoo feet. Tattoo on the like, foot, too. Might as well be tough. Be tough with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so metal I'll, I'll get it. The metal band. <laughs> uh, but for, for the actual tattoo, um, so I want to get a tattoo um, on on both of my hands. Uh, but what I want to do is um, <clears throat> instead of an alchemy circle, um, I want to basically hide in Alka, the alchemy circle. Um, like on the left hand, it'll be like the, it'll be a symbol of the sun, you know, with like the I'll guess recircle, um, like on top of the sun, or you know, basically with the sun inside of that, and then the other side will be like the moon. So it could be like just like a circle, and then a like uh, with just like an outline, and then like a fully like black circle on the other one. So I but, I want to ask your intention for this. So basically, I want to to be able to do Alcas, um, without having to have. Once they're having to make the two circles, like with this way, I could technically, or in theory, I would be able to just have, like you know, I could I could make the circle somewhere else, or I could like throw the kunai to a different spot. So the way yeah, this would work for alkahestry, because you know alkahestry is one of the circles is on where the alchemy begins, where your contact with begins, and then the second circle is where the actual alchemy is going to happen, or the alkahestry. Yeah. Um. So with them both being on your hand, you would not be able to send them further away other than your standard alchemy reach. Um, unless, of course, you had other means of making the second circle elsewhere, then you'd only have to touch one hand to the material to then do it. Oh, okay. No, no. I mean, so I'm, I'm just having it in both hands just as a failsafe. Um, but, like, one of the points would be, like, one of my hands, and then the second point would be wherever, like, I throw the kunai. Oh, okay, so you're just having one on the hand. Yeah, like it's gonna be okay. on both hands. Just as like, okay, if my hand gets chopped off for some reason, wait. <laughs> okay, so it's the yeah, same absolutely. tattoo on each hand. Uh, one's gonna be like the sun, and then the other's gonna be the moon. Okay, just for just, just for, for fashion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, for, for uh, like yes, that, I will yeah. say that that will uh, work. Very yeah, cool. And basically, yeah, I kind of, kind of want to try to hide it as well. Like, I don't want it to be clear that I'm, like, or, like, obvious that I'm trying to do alkastry. You're just to hide from the few. Yeah. So so you're masking it in a tr in a alchemy circle? Uh, yeah. Like, I want to try and have, like, it, it basically, like, hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just making sure I understood the, the context. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll say that as loud. All right, cool. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing today. And then I, yeah. I guess I'll, I'll probably hang out with Ivan. All right, go to the tattoo parlor. Prison says, all right, it'll cost you 50 cents to do this. I'll, I'll pay him 100. Oh, thank you very much. He goes to work and uh, you have the tattoos on your hands. You could uh, go about your business. Thank you, sir. All right, so you go back to uh, the dorms? Yep. And then I'm going to, well, there I'll prepare the shoes, but then I'll hang out with Ivan. All right. Wait. Tattoos are only 50 cents. For me, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right. about to be getting <laughs> fuck. <laughs> hey, we can go get you alchemical tattoo. tattoos were like a hundred and something. But... I believe when you all did them, they were a hundred. Yes. Yeah. I, did I pay bought him for Tony, and now he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and now he doesn't exist. Yeah, there, there are reasons for the, <laughs> the for the fluctuation. <laughs> Three years have passed. Things like that. Times have changed. Some stuff's gone on. Anyway, mm -hmm. so y'all uh, are making your way back to your dorms. Essentially, you finished up your daily tasks. 
Roll 1d8. Here it comes. Yay. You're for a real yeah, simple 1d8. One. Oh, Max. I've really hoped you'd get this one. Gee, it's every time. Damn. Damn. You like <laughs> uh, Elijah Rulo. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, all right. We're going to go in turn order here. Elijah, you Yay. rolled the seven. Mm-hmm. You are walking down the street when you see a man down an alleyway. You're like, you're walking down and then he catches your eye because you see the glint of something in the sunlight that's barely shining into the alley. And you look over to see a man with a big grin on his face and a gold gold tooth. tooth. Oh my goodness. I just sort of look over. You can't even tell if he's looking at you because his glasses are just that thick. You can't tell where he's looking. It's just in your direction. Okay. I will, uh, curiously, because I don't know the guy, I will, uh, he looks a little weird, but I'm going to begin walking up to him. It is, what is it? it, It's afternoon, right? Yeah, we'll say it's afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Are you doing okay? He just kind of looks at you. I'm doing fine. How about you? Not too bad. Simply just walking the town, getting ready to go somewhere. That's all. As am I. I just... I saw your eye, your eyes gazing over here. I was just curious if you needed anything. If not, then I will be on my way. Oh, no, no. Sorry for bothering you. That is voice. I don't remember if I'm doing the voice right at all. I'm not... It's sort of similar. I, he had like the he had like the sniveling old nerd kind of voice. A little bit raspy. What I remember. Yeah, it was a little raspy. Yeah, let me get you a clip. That's what I'm doing real quick. Jesus yeah. Christ, why is that the video that comes up? <laughs> Of course, I go to a fan dub for the one for the next one. Jesus Christ! I'm <laughs> oh, fuck it. Well, what was the last thing you said, Elijah? If I, if of course you didn't need anything, then I will be on my way. I apologize. Of course, go on your way. He will give a little bit of a nod and continue on his way, still keeping his eyes on the man as he as he uh, walks, but trying to. Not make it seem as if he's still watching. You see his entire body and everything about him is completely unchanging as you walk by. And you leave. Okay. Well, that was odd. (laughs) I'm just glad I didn't get that. Good lord. (laughs) Elsawa, you rolled an eight. You're walking by and you see something catch your eye from a bush. You see a locked box. Here we go again. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. I'm going to walk up and inspect the box. You can tell it's a small box, but it has a lock on it. Anything weird look look weird on the outside of it? No, there are no symbols. It's a completely plain box. Anything to indicate it would be trapped? Real perception. Okay. As far as you can tell, it seems safe. Okay. I am going to pick the lock. All right. Disable device? Yes. You succeed. You pick the lock. It opens up, and you find inside 200 cents. Nice. Is there a key for the box in the box? Sure. Sure. Cool. I'm going to keep... How big is this box? Uh, It's like real tiny. Like four inches. Is that four inches? I'm terrible at measurement. Well, a brick... A a brick is two by four by eight inches. 
I did that. It's not going to help me at all. Also, it's you the size of a brick. A brick. I t- it just doesn't. I can't eyeball size. A brick is a thousand grams. I also can't eyeball. Don't ask how I know that. I also can't eyeball age for the most part. <laughs> I'm terrible at judging things like that. <laughs> that would actually make about sense because that that, that would be just over two pounds. No, I can't Wait, eyeball is a brick exactly two kilograms? <laughs> Wait, thousand, yeah, I don't know. It's is, a thousand is, grams. A thousand grams. A thousand grams. It's either a thousand grams or just ten thousand grams. I think it's a thousand. I don't remember. So that's 2.2 kilograms, I think. Yeah, the average brick is about 5 pounds. I purely only know that a brick is 1,000 grams because of drugs. But <laughs> but people buy bricks of weed? Take 1,000 no. divided by 454. Because there's 454 grams in a pound. 2.27 kilograms who, is the average weight of a brick. Who would buy a brick of weed? <laughs> that's a great question. I don't know who'd buy any weed. But that's you know I don't do weed. <laughs> Actually, that's a good phrase. That's a good smile there, right? I know exactly who would. I just <laughs> prick of weed. <laughs> I take a long ass time to get through. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so it, so it's maybe You're a little a bit bigger than a brick. So it's a little bit bigger than a brick. Damn. I'll be right back. Yeah, about the size. You get to see the wall. Okay, I'm gonna keep the box nice. too. All right. Cool. That paid for like half my armor. Mm-hmm. I put that there just for Nick, and he didn't even get <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, Ivan, you rolled the four. Yeah. Oh, Ivan, you got a real fun one. Uh, you're walking by. You find ten cents on the ground. What? Yes. <laughs> um, uh, is there any food? Is there any food shop around? Oh my Star god. People. I'm starving. There's a corn dog stand. <laughs> I instantly give him ten dollars and say, "Give me as many of those as I can for ten dollars." He hands you two corn dogs. What? These better be the best fucking corn. <laughs> They're the best corn dogs that you have ever tasted. Oh my god. <laughs> He says, yeah, I just invented these. These are fucking delicious. Here, George. And they're also the mm. only corn dogs you ever taste. We can see so. why Becca does money in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else by you? Um, I, I, uh, are you doing anything else with the, with the corn dogs? Anything, that's what I mean. Oh, I'm just, oh, no, I was just eating the corn dogs. <laughs> okay. And oh, yeah, Max. Okay. You're walking down the street. You see, you're looking ahead into the crowd. And you see a familiar face. You see your old childhood friend walking. Oh my god. Walking, uh, what's it, perpendicular? Like, at a perfectly against the crowd, like through a group that's ahead of you? It right. catches your eye for a brief second. Yes. And as you see, someone else walks beyond, covering their view, covering them from view. They disappear. He gasped. That was a very good description, by the way. Thank you. That scene went off in my head, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. I'm going to just like, look around and see if yeah, I can spot it again. Well, perception? I wonder if you could locate it with your them with your chi. Dang, if you could touch chi and shit. You do not see her. Yeah, would that? Oh, I guess I don't know. Yeah, I guess would that be a thing? You gotta try to try and sense her, sense her chi. Yeah. Yeah, I just have you man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm try it. All right. Uh, I think that's the sense motive for that. Well, since I've looked at Alka history, you just see Hagane rise from the dead. I got you, bro. Kicks you. Use the sense motive. Dead ass. (laughs) 
30 feet times chi expertise rank, which at level 12. Chi expertise 3, so that's 90 feet. 15. You are confident that you do not sense her presence. But you do sense another presence, which is very similar to one you've detected previously of the fear. I like move towards the location just so I can get a visual. <clears throat> you see there's someone walking in the same direction uh, that she was walking, but it is definitely not her. You are now seeing uh, a man in his mid-30s. You can tell that that's the... who it's coming from. Okay. I, uh, you know what? You know what? I, I approach him. So let's do this. Let's do it. Right. Oh my. Walking up to him from behind. How are you grabbing his attention? Uh, excuse me, sir. So he kind of t- stops and turns. Oh, uh, hello. How can I help you? Yeah, you, would, you wouldn't happen to know what, someone named Luna, would you? Uh, shakes his head. Can't say I do. Yeah. Uh, r- I guess real quick, uh, out, out of character, like what? What does he look like? Uh, dark hair, like dark brown hair. Uh, slightly tan skin, green eyes. Uh, kind of unkempt beard. All right. Anything more than that you're looking for? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Wearing a suit. Yeah. All right. Well, eh, that's, that's unfortunate. Well, thanks anyway. Well, hang on a second. You, you look familiar for some reason. Do I know you? I don't think you and I have met before. No. Hmm. Maybe you work with maybe a colleague of mine. Um. I was at the, you know, I, I'm at the, the military academy. Yeah, you know anybody there? Oh, I've anybody definitely. Military? I've got some military friends, but I don't really hang out with them too much. You know, busy working. The wife and the kids. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, if, uh, okay. if, if <laughs> for some reason, I, I guess you, you do see her. Yeah, you know, she's a girl about yay high, looks you know, roughly like this. Uh, you know, give, give me a, you know, give me a call. Sort of search me out. I'm, I'm Max. Max Pleasure to meet you. He reaches his hand out, uh, back, shakes your hand. You can call me, uh, Timmy. Timmy. Thanks, Timmy. Oh, I'll be sure to send her your way if I see her. All right. Timmy. And he starts walking away. Can I go my go my way as well? All right. <clears throat> I presume you have enough meta knowledge to understand what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the record, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if anyone wishes to explain, they can. Uh, if I think it's correct, it starts with an E, ends with a Y. Perhaps. A rational assumption. What was the question again? Uh, what what just happened there, essentially? Okay. Girl, supposedly. Uh, it was childhood. Empty. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I was, allegedly. I was curious if you're gonna roll sense motive checks on them when they were saying things. Nah, I was like, yeah, no, this is why. Why, why did you not? Yeah, I'm, I'm mildly stressful. I imagine a sense of self-preservation. Is what it is. <laughs> okay. there's, there's a limit to like how far you know. It doesn't hurt to know things though. <laughs> oh, it does. Oh, it does. Depends on if you do something about it. You know, you can just know things. You can also just die for just knowing things. <laughs> they don't have to know that you know though. You gotta be in the know to know, you know? You gotta be in the know to know. I don't know how I know. Just know that I know, you know? <laughs> yeah, I just know. Don't worry about it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you all have ended up making your way back to the dorms. 
uh, Ivan, you've brought up going out on a joyride. Uh, however, before that conversation gets any further than that, you hear a knock at your door. I will run up because I'm perched on the fucking couch like a bat. I thought you couldn't fit on the couch in the living room when I'm in there. <laughs> I fit on the couch. <laughs> oh, how the parents. I'm going to turn here. left and knock him off the couch before he can get up. <laughs> no. I am. I'm going to do a backflip. <laughs> oh, congratulations! You just headbutted me. <laughs> I don't have a fucking token for this guy. I thought I had one. I need to. I'm gonna roll for backflip. Fuck right, the roll for backflip. Acrobatics. Oh. Fuck! I don't have a good acrobatics. Never mind. I just. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're gonna use Edison for the time being for this guy. Let me let me give him a okay. nameplate to make sure you don't forget. Hello there, sir. You see the fear and a man who some of you have met before, Dr. Marco, enter the room. I salute. Is at ease. I am at ease. I wish to uh, have a conversation with uh, a couple of you. Elijah, Max, would you mind uh, stepping into one of the rooms with me? Of course, of course sir. Thing for you, Fever. Is whichever one of yours or whichever one of these are your rooms? I have this one right here. Ah, my personal quarters, sir. And Marco walks in, says, All right, well, I ran into him while I was on my way here. El Sawa, I wish to speak to you. If you wish, you can have it here in public, or we can do this in your room where it might be more comfortable. Uh, we'll take this to my room. Uh, dude, you yeah. should go to your room too, and then just like leave Tony there. Not to play. I'll hang out. I guess I'm hanging out with Tony. Why is frozen playing cards against myself? After you, sir. Explain. <laughs> no. Thank you. And as they have entered their room and having a conversation, Ivan, you hear another knock at the door. Oh, son of a bitch! I was going out to play cards. Hello? Your insurance agent. You didn't pay up. Hello. You see a familiar oh. face enters. <laughs> oh, hello, Ivan. How are you doing? Kimberly. Sir, how's it going? Good to see you. I haven't forgotten your manners. I haven't forgotten my rank. But at ease. Of course. I wish to have a conversation with you. You first, and then the rest of your team. Uh, once I suppose they get back home. Uh, yeah, they're actually all in meetings right now. One the fewer is uh, actually talking to Max and Elijah. And uh, Dr. Marco is talking to Elsa. Oh, well, it appears I've come at an opportune time. Well, here, let's take yeah. a seat, Ivan. Tony, leave the room. Huh? I don't remember which <laughs> room is Tony, so I think it's that one. His room is at the end. His room at is the at end. the okay. end. Okay. Uh, I'll sit on the other side of the couch, kind of like comfortably, so we can kind of sit there, like, you know. All right, look longingly at you. <laughs> Bradley starts to speak to you, Max and Elijah. Now, I imagine you might have an idea as to why I'm here. The exam? No, sir. Well, as I said earlier, if someone vouches for you, you will be able to skip the military police stage of the process. I'm here to inform you both yes, that I have vouched for both of you. No. Thank you. I also intended to vouch for a couple of others of you. However, it seems that someone has already beat me to that punch. Anyway, it's quite I'll generous. be going to the exam for, to apply for state alchemist, sir. Oh. Should you pass, then this will be irrelevant. But don't get confident. A single mistake will cost you the entirety. Yes, sir. And you all are familiar with the procedure of what you'll be doing that day? Yes, sir. Mm. Not quite. Yeah, you like me. Well, mm -hmm. you will have one opportunity to show off your alchemy to me and a couple of other judges. At which point we will then determine as to whether or not you are qualified for the rank of state alchemist. Yeah. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds easy. I can't imagine it's that easy, though. Well, you're competing with many other alchemists. 
there's not even a guarantee that any of you will be made state alchemists. See, see. You pretty much need to identify yourself as something unique to our ranks to further our state studies, our state research. I guess I can try and put something together. Oh, it's not him. Uh, Nick, please meet yourself. I'm sorry. It's just a some fan in the background. Is there any other questions way. you have, Max? No. Either way, you know, it, it sounds like uh, we're, we're moving on up. Yeah, that's, that's a, it's quite the solid there. If you're in a, if, anything you're looking for in exchange? Nothing at all, other than your service to our military. I believe you two both have high potential to assist us as a country. I'll do what I can. Thank you, sir. All right, well, if there's nothing else, I'll get to it. Have a good March day. There, All right, turn to March single file line. El Sawa, you're in, you and Dr. Marco were talking. Well, El Sawa, how are you doing? I'm doing well, sir. How have you been? I've been doing fine. I'm familiar with your work, the alchemy that you've been doing, and your training in the last few years. How's all that been going? I think I've made great strides. Obviously, I'm not at a level where I want to be yet, but I definitely feel like I've come far in these last couple of years. Well, I'm happy to hear that. You are familiar with who I am, right? Yes, sir. You're familiar with my standing as a as a as a state alchemist. Yes, sir. Well, I want you to know I'm here to vouch for you to ensure that you become a private in the military. Though I will recommend that you also pursue the path of state certification. Of course, sir. If I may ask. Go ahead. Why choose me to, uh, I don't think sponsor is the right word. Why, why choose me to recommend? Because of your style of alchemy. Its aims are medicinal, aren't they? Yes, sir. That is why. Too often this government forgets that the purpose of everything we do is service to the people. I think that you might be someone to help remind everyone of that. And even I myself sometimes forget the exact ideals to strive for in the midst of passionate pursuits. Well, it is an unfortunate side effect of a military. While the main, while the main goal of a military is to defend the homeland and make sure that we are all safe, Generally, the military does it through force, so making sure that the military can act the force they need to to protect sometimes takes front seat, and the secondary support of the people takes a back seat. My guess is, their logic being, if you don't have the strength to stop your opponents from invading, then there's no point in having the support to help your own people if you can't defend them. Yes, that is it exactly. But still, I think a larger emphasis on treating the wounded and recovering ailments is something that would be advantageous. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely, sir. It's the reason why I chose the path I did. And that is the While reason I am... why I vouch for you. I do think I have an idea more along the lines of what I would like to pursue. I, I am a little bit familiar with state alchemists and that you are sponsored as a state alchemist in order to pursue higher things. And I even have an idea of something I may want to do in addition to just becoming a better healer. You said about illness and disease. 
I would eventually like to put more focus on learning how to cure diseases, illnesses, stuff like that. And not even just long-term chronic, but even resistances to poison and items such. And if you show something like that at the, ex at the certification exam, you will be made a state alchemist. My only issue that I can see is, while I can definitely prove my healing capabilities as an alchemist, I really have not been able to do a whole lot in regards to actual illness. Pretty much the only way I could show that is literally giving myself a disease and pushing the poison out, and I know that I don't have the capability to do that at this time. That would be risky, no matter the time. Exactly. If your experience on that isn't as far along, That's then crazy. there are other means. At this point, I felt as though the best course of action would be to... And maybe this is kind of boring, but inflict an injury on myself and heal the wounds in front of the judges before their eyes. It would certainly show passion. You can also be provided a cadaver if that might assist you in some other means. A way to show off your understanding of human anatomy. Make an art piece out of a corpse as grotesque as it would be, it would send a message. There are also other possibilities. But showing off your knowledge here and how it could be advantageous to the military. There are a lot of ways you can do that with medical alchemy. Absolutely. We still have some time before the state sort of before the state tests. Yep. This is simply one idea that I have. It's the most direct and being willing to inflict an injury on yourself and then show recovery in front of it does definitely show passion, but there could be something more that could be equally useful. We'll have time to think. And don't be afraid to improvise and adapt. Who knows? Maybe some fool will mess up, have an alchemical rebound. Maybe you'll be able to save them. Hmm. If it wasn't for... Ivan's arm getting fixed by Sherman all those years ago. Oh, wait, no, that was Kimberly, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Kimberly. If it wasn't for Ivan's arm getting fixed all those years ago, he would have been a perfect opportunity. Yes, Kimberly's work. I wouldn't judge, I wouldn't continue going by his example, though. Never said I did. Well, good. Just wanted to make that clear. I can... I can acknowledge that Kimberly definitely has some gifts and has definitely grown rank in the military. Something about him does not sit right with me, so I maintain a professional level of interaction with him and nothing more. Good. You should leave it that way. He is an... He is a dedicated man, but a dangerous one. That is something that I felt as well. And should you ever need advice on medical alchemy, do not take it from him. No. I didn't even ask him about it at that time. Good. Kimberly seems to work in mysterious ways, and I feel like asking questions may actually cause more problems than it would help. Yes, I think that's the exact way that you need to think about that. Well, I thank you very much, Dr. Marco. I truly appreciate this as a recommendation, and I hope I will not let you down at the certifications. Well, even if you fail the certification, that does not mean your options are over. Good luck, Osala. Thank you, sir. He goes and turns to leave. Kimberly turns to Ivan. Yeah. So, Ivan, how have you been? Been all right. You know, just uh, really just been training with my gun. Uh, worked on my car. Uh, me and Max finally got to work. Um, uh, really just been, really just been uh trying to get better at my shot, honestly. And trained the uh, trained the parakeet. Name's George. Hey, George. 
That's the pair of heat flies in, lands on my shoulder. See that? See that? What a lovely companion. Thank you. How have you been, Kimberly? What's new with you? Oh, I've been continuing the old grind, so to speak. Hey, get it, my man. Get it. I've recently been given a promotion as well. So I've heard. I've heard. New spreads. Oh. Where are you the, right now? The corporal ranking that he was promoted to previously. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're getting at. Says I'm now a master sergeant. Congrats, sir. That's amazing. Well, thank you. That does mean that I will be allowed to undertake my own missions so long as I have permission or instruction from the Fuhrer or other higher-ups at the military. Hey, that's awesome. If you ever need uh, you know, any help, let me know. I'm happy you brought that up, Ivan. That's actually the reason why I'm here. On top of vouching for you to be made a private, I was hoping that you and your team might consider working under me for at least the initial time of your military career. Well, you know that I'm in. We're, you know, we're friends. So, of course, of course. I'm in. And, I, and I really appreciate that you would actually go out of your, would put your name out there for me. Oh, me someone private. would have no matter what. I mean, the Land Cruiser name is one that is known far and wide here. Well, thank you, Kimberly. I really do appreciate that. So, sir, of course, I know I'll be in there, and I'll, you know, I talk to the guys. I'm sure they'll be down for some, you know, some good rank, like yeah, some good top, more time, yeah, more benefit ties. There. Mm. Well, then I guess we'll talk to them once they're finished up here. At that moment, you hear the doors yeah. open. Can I get you uh, any coffee or anything, Kimberly? You good? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Gotcha, my man. You see Bradley and Dr. Marco exit the rooms with all of you behind them. As Dr. Marco kind of stops, you see kind of shocked. You see shock on his face as he sees Kimberly. Kimberly, what are, what are you doing here? I was merely extending a congratulations to everyone here, as well as a bit of an inquiry. Personal matter. I, I imagine you understand. My best of friend. course. Let's, uh, I'll be on my way. Bradley eyes him and looks at you. Well, I imagine there's good news all around. I'll leave you all to it as well. Hello, Kimberly. Hello. How are you all doing? You know, we're pretty good. Pretty good. How have you been? Oh, I've been splendid. And staying active, staying busy. Following the better pursuits of this country. I hear you've all graduated yeah. from the academy. At long last. Yeah, we have. <laughs> yes, we did. So, as to the reason as to why I'm here, with all of you, I presume, being vouched for by one person or another... I was hoping you might submit a request to work under me. Not a chance. Oh, and why is that, Elijah? I'm going to be applying for state alchemy. Ah. Well, I wish you the best of luck for it. Nonetheless... Indeed. I'm still hoping we might be willing to work together. I think we could all be a powerful team together. I'm also applying for the State Alchemist exams. So I'll see you there too. But regardless of what happens, I just figured you might be interested in my mission objective. What happens to be your objective? I'm hunting down the traitors. I've caught wind of their trail again, and I'm looking to exterminate them once and for all. We're in. Oh. We're in, Elijah. <laughs> a moment of temptation kind of crosses his face a little bit. 
Come on, big guy. You coming to Elsewa? Max, what are you doing? I'm not necessarily the hunting type. Oh, but of course, a medical alchemist would be of significant importance on a mission like this. With all due you? respect with what you were able to do with Ivan's arms, you're probably more capable at this point than I am. Well, he did fail once, didn't well, he? I did fail once. That is correct. <laughs> and besides, yes, it's quite a shame. With us hunting after multiple targets, it's possible I may be pulled away from others of you, from the others, the rest of you. When would you be going on this mission? About a month from now is when I intend to begin the pursuit to the bitter end. Yeah, thank you. Max, are you going? Thing I'll take under consideration. I could. But uh, I would prefer to. I at this time do not wish to put much thought into it, as I wish to focus on our upcoming alchem state alchemist exams. Of course, of course. But I shall take it under advisement. And that is all I can ask for. You all have a month, from what I understand, before you're actually deployed on any missions, regardless of what your standing is. So, should you pass the state certification exam, I imagine we'll have a very different conversation at that point. As well as if I should. Indeed. Indeed. And, uh, you know, I, I, could, I could get behind it, you know, a temporary partnership. It's, uh, it's beneficial to, to all parties involved. Exactly what I was thinking. I don't quite like you, but I do quite like getting rid of traitors. See, common ground. It's what the military's built on. I can work with that. <laughs> no questions for you anyways. <laughs> as long as, oh. uh... <laughs> Alright, what were you saying, Max? No, so, so as, long, as long as it benefits both parties. Equivalent stage and all that, you know. Exactly. I can respect that. All right, Elijah, what were you saying? That's all he says. After that, I just okay. have a, I have a, to talk to you later. Well, if you wish to have that conversation now, I was getting ready to go on my way. Indeed, follow me. Oh, if you're he will go room. into his room and okay. yeah, he's going to go into his room and close the door. Oh. Yes, Elijah. Shut the fuck up. Anyways. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> so, clapping, it's been it? a little while, Kimberly. I'm only going to ask you this one time and if you decide not to answer me, then of course. If it's above my pay grade, then of course. What was that red stone that you had whenever you were fighting? Persuasion check. The, the traitor out. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, do, 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 do. I got to look at my sheet. It's a good check because I'm a persuading boy. Persuade. 18. Coming. <laughs> I have two spirit dies, bitch. He will waste them both on this. Yes. I have an unrelated question at some point. Well, while I'm waiting... Oh, there it is. 36. You see, he smiles at you. I can't reveal everything about it. State secrets. But I will tell you it is a secret weapon. Something that is being developed okay. by the military. Under a project led... He kind of gestures to the door, pointing like outside, by Doctor Marco, the older gentleman who is here with Bradley. With the fear, my apologies for the informality. Okay. He just kicks in the okay. door. What? And I believe that resembled something people would call a philosopher's philosopher's stone. 
Well, that could be it. Of course, it's not a true one. If such a thing of even course. exists. But that is the purpose of the project, is to emulate one. And it's I can tell you from yet, personal it? experience, while it's not perfect, it still is quite an experience. I've seen it work, but I have seen, also seen it run out. Yes. A process they are attempting to refine every day. Yes. Good. It's a good tool. I we will, uh... will be honest with you. In my pursuit of these traitor alchemists, I will not have one of those. Okay. I'm sure you're plenty competent without one. You can bet on that. Do not let that be your crutch. Should you have any doubts, though, two weeks, you'll be able to see for yourself. Indeed. It seems that I'll be going with you, so... I have no beef with you. I simply know how you do things, and I don't quite do them the same. And that's completely fine. But for now, we can both agree on one thing. Traitors die. Exactly. We'll have their blood flowing you know, through the streets. I'm not that quite that gory of a person, but sure, whatever. And he'll stick on his hand. And he extends his as well. And you shake. Okay. He, he, <laughs> in some part of his body, fucking hates this, but does it. And he walks on he out. Will, uh... <laughs> Unless you weren't done. I'm done. Right. He stops as he goes to the door. Oh, by the way, should you need me, I have a new personal house. You remember where we did that drug bust? Our first mission together? Yeah. Well, I bought the house and have renovated it a bit. Should you need me within these two weeks, that's where you can find me. Okay. He walks on out. Get it. Get it, can't we? Anyways. <laughs> if you have anything to say to each other, feel free to. Everybody on board uh, this? Uh, um... Oh, everybody on deck with us, everybody prepared, everybody got enough money, everybody got enough rifle rounds. <laughs> no, I definitely do not believe we all have enough money. Our spending habits over the last three years were quite atrocious. Yes, we've been very bad at things. <laughs> I have a life-size gorilla in my room. And I Listen. just had the Fuhrer in the same room. Food is amazing. <laughs> You see 18 headless dogs in Ivan's room. I'm joking. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, he left the heads at least. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yes, who who all of us are going to be attempting the the uh, state exam for state alchemist? Tony raises his hand. I raise my hand. Yeah, that makes sense. Giving it a whirl. So three of us. I'm going to give it a try. You you can't. You're not an alchemist. Do you believe that your uh, alchemistry will not quite sw persuade them? Say again. Do you believe that your uh, alchemistry will not quite persuade them? Oh, I can't use alchemistry. Yeah, he's not allowed. <laughs> oh, yes. Forgot be, about uh, that. Give myself away. That'd be a death sentence, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a very bad idea. All right. Well, then I will see you at the soldier things. For the three of us that are going, let us do this. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Tony puts his hand into the middle of a circle. I put my hand in the circle. I put my hand in the circle. Get the fuck out. And uh, we, we Max Salsawa, you join I'm him? kidding, I don't say that. <laughs> I put my hand on top of Elijah's, making sure to completely cover it. I look at him <laughs> with like a... 
<laughs> then Tony slides your hand to the side uh, actually, and he makes a big old smiley face over all of it. Actually, Elijah, you look at him like this. He's not that tall. So that was actually like something Tony would do. He's made that joke before. Yeah, G-G. absolutely. We draw a smiley face on everybody's hand. Dragon tails, yay! Oh, that's uh, <laughs> that's Yu Gi Oh episode one. Yeah. Oh yeah. The whole tail yeah, smile for so a sign. Yeah. And then it comes yeah, back like three seasons series. later as a flashback. Yeah, the only time Tay was useful in the whole series. Yeah. Unless you beat my that one time. How dare you. <laughs> my letter win. I love playing the games now with like Taya's deck versus Mai's deck because they just give Taya everything, every buff because her monsters suck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's my unrelated question and this <laughs> is just me being me again. Literally what is the advantage of having an SMG versus a 9mm pistol? Bigger mag capacity. No, the mag capacity is 5. For an SMG? Yeah, same damage, what? same critical. Oh, that's 10 less Why the range, fuck is it 5? And the mag capacity is a third. Well, the, the intention was for it to be like burst fire. So it's like a burst of shots are going in. Uh, that's when I did the whole ammo revamp. Boy, you best mm. do it again. <laughs> then shouldn't mm. it be like behind the 2d6, then it would be like a times three thing? Well, no, it's, it's meant thing. to just simplify it all, balance it. Obviously, that's then one should... where it wasn't properly done, because now it's just weaker. Before the uh, before we all do our thing, um, does anybody still have their shotguns from all the way back then? Yes. I need to nope. borrow it real quick. I need to borrow Why? it for specifically my um alchemy exam. I need to make a bigger show. I'm going to make a uh I'm going to make a shotgun shell with quartz in it. And I'm going to shoot it and make a big display. You don't have one any of the shotguns left? No, I don't. I sold mine. <laughs> I just need to borrow it. I will give it right back to you. It's just a simple load. Nothing bad will happen to it. I have my alchemy on my glove. My glove will be touching the gun. The gun will shoot. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at him. The last time someone talked about a simple load and nothing bad happening, Tony was born. Ah. Uh... That's very rude. Don't say what? that about our companions. It's okay. He's frozen. He can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I will lend you the shotgun that day. Thank you. Mine and I will go to my room. Again, making a fucking shotgun chill. With cords. Okay, there we go. I've updated the guns for a more fitting uh, power balance. Uh, many guns have been buffed. Pistol and revolver have not been. Damn. Holy okay, I have God. another... Okay, when you have size for a weapon... Yes. What does that affect? Uh, certain things, like whether you can dual wield, things like that. There are certain, um, stuff, certain class abilities, only, or uh, class abilities and feats that are relevant to specific size weapons. Primarily dual wielding is the big one. Okay, I have a question now. Mm-hmm. Well, also, first, is 30 seem a little short for a light machine gun? Uh, probably. Remember, you can shoot beyond that. Usually it's, it's just a penalty. Yeah, that's like the that's the, that the range is just for like optimal accuracy. Right. Okay, here's my question: If I got a larger gun, could I basically cut it down into something shorter? Uh, potentially. You can also say you can buy smaller guns into a larger gun. Like, could I get a light machine gun, but then just cut down the barrel and the stock, basically, and make it a, basically, just a super hot SMG? Yes. 
You're about to burn your fucking hands up, but you are It'll also take uh, hit check penalties eventually, depending on exactly what you're trying to do to stats. Not really trying to do anything. Just like, kind of making it more concealable. So you're essentially trying to have the LMG damage just smaller. Yes. That's yeah, also with alchemy that can be done. Like, what would be the advantage of like, what advantage do I have of carrying a pistol which is small compared to an LMG which is large? I don't dual wield. I don't have any special feats. So, is there any real advantage to the one or the other? Not really. Uh, there are certain. LMG. There are like other utility based things where it could happen. Um, small things can fit in your hand even when your hands are full or somewhat full. Uh, versus large, you know, you can't have that if you have anything in your hands. Um, if you're trying to throw an item, there are certain things that might happen with that. Certain just random things that might be relevant for that. Cod logic. Yeah, and there's no armor bonuses or anything. I'm just... I guess I'm just trying to get a little bit more damage output. That's basically what it comes down to. If I'm going to shoot a gun, I want to make sure I can actually do damage with the gun. Mm -hmm. That's why I looked at the, L the SMG and I'm just like... Huh. Yeah, it was just flat out worse than the pistol. Yeah. Straight up. It's just video game gun logic, essentially, is the concept. I know. I'm the worst person to be looking at this thing. <laughs> I used a revolver. No, that one was a valid concern because that was just a more expensive gun for worse stats. I just mean overall. Like, I am super nitpicky about that stuff, but when I did my zombie apocalypse stuff, I had literally stats for every type of bullet. Yeah, that's more intent than but, I ever intend to go into. And FMA, that's not the main focal point either. Yeah. So, that's just me. That would be a fun game, game, though. What? Like a fucking, actually being able to design guns and shit. Like oh, a, dude, a I, had a, I had a really good weapon set up in that. When this session is over, oh, actually, you gotta duck out anyway, then. Yeah. But... Well, I'm still going to be on my phone, but um, do we have anything else that we need to do, or are we going to cut off? No, this because... is pretty much the end of the session, because we can't really proceed further without Zach. Goodbye, right. everybody! So, uh, yeah. Joy right there. Oh, yeah, y'all... Yeah, <laughs> okay. Like, hold up. Ivan, you, you going to pitch to the Joyride? <laughs> what? You going to pitch the Joyride for everyone? Yeah, who wants to go for a Joyride? End of the Not session, bad. Joyride. We drive Let's off to the it. wind. Fuck you, Ivan. I make a shotgun shell as I'm That's having a joyride. I call shotgun. Tony goes to his room. I call shell. <laughs> Tony, Tony just goes to his room. All right. Uh, he's riding in the trunk. And the rest of y'all go <laughs> driving. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Road drive check. I'm I wheelies. Ivan, oh, make sure you hit every single speed bump. He oh, asked it all. <laughs> make a drive check. Come on, buddy. Oh, I'll, crap. I'll show you what the ideal gun looks like. For the conversation that we were having earlier. That If I you could customize thing. a gun, I that's, what I, that's I how I do it. I think it's fucking cool. It's like Legos, but murder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the hell it's, is that? Uh, it's from Residents of Fate. I was going to do a video on it, uh, as you may recall in the old... Uh, behind the banter, uh, but it just fell through. Mm. Isn't it just There's shooting its own barrel? What the fuck? Yeah, none of it makes sense, but they all give a uh, stat boost to your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, it's great. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Well, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications if you like this. If you're looking to support us, be sure to check the description below for a link to our merch store and Patreon you can check out. Speaking of which, I'd like to give a special thank you to this month's patrons. Alright, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.